This is a video film which looks at the behaviour of trawl doors. The film was taken in the port of Bucky and on a sea trial in the Moray Firth on board the DAPS research vessel Klupia. The film is part of a joint project on trawl door behaviour undertaken by the Seafish Industry Authority in Hull and the Marine Laboratory Aberdeen. The project's aims are to understand and possibly predict the attitude adopted by trawl doors when various rigging changes are made and to test several sizes of the same type of door and arrive at an efficient combination between the trawl doors and the net. The opening sequences are taken on board Klupia, which is equipped as a side trawler. The net used throughout the trial is a goshawk design, fitted with a rock hopper foot rope. A speed log attached to the headline of the trawl will accurately record the water speed while the gear is working on the seabed. Load cells are attached to each warp to assist in gear alignment. The remote control underwater vehicle, seen here being launched off the stern, was used to collect all the underwater sequences used in this film. The initial set of trawl doors tested were steel V doors, designated V37 and V38, each being 8 foot by 5 foot 6 inches and weighing 990 pounds. The initial objective is to assess the V-door working with a warp and backstrop position commonly adopted by many fishermen around our coastline. The diagram shows that the warp is normally shackled into the centre hole in the pivoting arm. The first underwater pictures show the doors using this commonly adopted position and demonstrating good stability. The speed is 3.2 knots and the V-door's angle of attack is 40 to 45 degrees. However, this high angle does not allow the door to work efficiently and as a result the V-door's spreading ability is restricted. It was not possible to work the trawl door at an efficient angle of attack with the standard towing arm so the arm was modified to provide two additional warp positions. With the warp now attached to the innermost towing hole, the angle of attack adopted by the door is 35 degrees. This allowed the door to work very close to its optimum efficiency, which is achieved at 33 degrees. The low angle of attack improves door spread and reduces drag, However, it can be seen from the picture that the door is now pitching up at the toe. This is not a desirable condition. Pitching can be reduced by lowering the door's centre of gravity, and this can be achieved by attaching a doubling plate along the complete length of the keel. We see here the results of attaching a keel plate to the door. The centre of gravity has been lowered and the pitching has been considerably reduced. To confirm high speed stability at low angles of attack and to demonstrate that fishing while turning is possible, the gear speed is now being increased to 3.8 knots. This will effectively simulate the speed experienced by a trawl door on the outside of a turn. Occasionally, doors will lift off during hard turning or high towing speeds, potentially losing fish. These doors are not showing this behaviour at the low angle of attack. Doors on the inside of a turn naturally slow down, collapse and lightly polish the towing brackets. This is considered quite normal. The gear speed will now slow down to 2.5 knots, allowing the doors to collapse and demonstrate this condition.
When the turn is completed, the inside door will naturally speed up and return quickly to its normal towing attitude. If the stability aspect of the doors is acceptable, we will see this happening. The speed is now increasing to 3.2 knots. So, we have established that low angles of attack are possible to work with reasonable stability on the intermediate V-doors. We have now changed to the smaller V-doors, V33 and V34. These are 7 foot by 4 foot 6 inches and weigh 735 pounds. With the smaller V-doors, to obtain an efficient angle of attack of 33 degrees, it is necessary to attach the warp into hole position number 2. If the warp had been positioned in hole number 1, then the angle of attack taken up by the door would have been below the optimum for door spread, with possible instability problems. Here we see the starboard door, V33, and its present speed is 3.3 knots. The door is working at 34 degrees and the spread between the doors is approximately 120 feet. To establish that both doors are stable and are working at the correct angle of attack we have repositioned the remote vehicle and are now looking at the port door. The speed is still 3.2 knots and the door spread remains 120 feet. We have previously established that a good set of trawl doors will return to a stable position quickly after collapsing onto its face. To confirm this with the smaller V doors, the gear speed will now reduce to 2.7 knots, allowing the doors to collapse. To complete the sequence of events, the gear speed will now increase to 3.6 knots and allow the doors to return to their normal towing position. Data from previous trials with these doors have shown that they will maintain their door spread over a wide range of speeds. At fishing speeds of around 3 knots, the door spread is 120 feet. This produces a bridle angle of 13 degrees, which is generally considered to be an excellent angle for herding fish. These points, coupled with an efficient angle of attack and good all-round stability, indicated that this set of doors are the best match for this trawl. This exercise has produced several interesting points. Where a good gear match has been achieved, the hydrodynamic forces acting on the net and doors are in balance. When the gear speed increases, the additional spreading forces acting on the door will be equaled by the extra drag imposed on the trawl net. Similarly, when a decrease in speed occurs, the reduced forces acting on the door are equaled by the reduced drag on the trawl net. Also, an interesting point is the relationship between the angle of attack and the door spread. 
If the doors are worked close to their optimum angle of attack, i.e. 33 degrees, then this will produce the maximum door spread with a low resultant drag. However, it must be considered that the penalty may be pitching up at the toe of the door, in which case additional modifications, i.e. keel plate, may be necessary. The second section of the film looks at the flat wooden doors F35 and F36. Each are 8 foot 6 inches long by 5 foot 3 inches high and weigh 1,674 pounds. The previous exercise with the V doors has indicated that the surface area of these flat doors would be too large to spread this trawl efficiently. The optimum angle of attack for flat doors is also 33 degrees. However, the scope for adjusting this angle is limited to an adjusting rail on the back of the door. Some adjustment of the angle of attack is possible by moving the back strops along the rail, but this only achieves minor changes in the angle of attack. To understand the effect of increasing or reducing the length of the back strops, additional shackles will be progressively introduced into the lower back strop wire. The towing triangles are set just below the center line of the door. This induces a slight positive heel angle of 2 to 5 degrees when equal backstrops are used. The flat door, seen here, is operating at an angle of attack of 44 degrees. The inefficient angle of attack results in the door spread being restricted to 110 feet at the present speed of 2.6 knots. To demonstrate the effect of changing the backstrop lengths on flat doors, a single shackle, approximately 5 inches long, has been inserted into the lower backstrop leg. The heel angle has now increased to approximately 7 degrees. When another 5 inch shackle is inserted into the lower backstrop leg, the heel angle further increases to 10 degrees. This increased heel angle generates a greater downward force, which, depending on ground condition, may improve door spread. However, the penalty will be at the expense of increased drag. Despite the additional shackles in the lower leg, there has been no noticeable change in the pitch of the door. Unfortunately, problems do occur during sea trials. This flat door collapsed onto its back during shooting. In an attempt to stand the door upright, the vessel's speed was increased and also winching in attempted. Unfortunately, these tactics do not always work out as planned. <laughs> 